important. Yeah, so again, I just want to, for everyone, I mean, we've got a mixture of uh, new and um, seasoned uh, people in the room. Welcome to all the new uh, guys. Um, and if you're watching this, the recording, this extends to you as well. Just a generally warm welcome. I'm not going to spend too long on this, but there are some things that I do need to go over. And for the guys that, you know, have been here for a while with me, will know this. And um, but for you new guys, I just want to go through this quickly, is that um, what we want to do first and my approach really is is understanding fundamentals first right because fundamentals are really our um as we establish our directional bias and all fundamental analysis is, is very there's a lot of different meanings or maybe people derive different meanings of fundamentals but fundamentally it, it fundamentals fundamentally but fundamentals is just what gives that asset its value right? It's current price and is current price cheap, you know, or is it expensive or is it fair value? Yeah. So fundamental analysis is just, I guess, the study of what makes that item, asset, asset class, um, you know, valuable today or potentially valuable in the future or less valuable in the future, right? That's all we're doing. And there are certain things that we look for in currencies um, for example, monetary policy, which is really driven by um, GDP and interest rates, oh, sorry, GDP and inflation, sorry. Um, and, and then we basically, you know, the, the central banks will either hike, hold or cut rates, which basically determines, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, the exchange rate of a currency and gives the value to, to certain currencies. And also as well, I, I highly advise you, if you haven't already, take the course and test i mean obviously there's a, there's a lot to go through by the way lots of channels and i did try to streamline this but follow it on the way down you want to follow each you know um channel don't try not to skip any of the channels but when you get to the fundamental analysis uh, channel watch this video and there is a course there is a, um, a pdf sorry and, it's, and a short course that you sh that you should uh take and it really kind of simplifies um the um uh, the, the, the fundamental process yeah so i highly advise you go through this it might it's probably it might be stuff that you might already know it might not be stuff that you know but please definitely go through this um and just follow the instructions send me you know your answers and then you'll get the uh the password to really kind of watch the um the answers because there are some um some some decent art there's some answers that i've put in um or questions and answers that i've put in here in this video anyways guys um uh, uh one second i think leah's a few people are in i will mute marcos All right so uh with that being said it's something that you should uh look to do um when when you can um so the really our process is really again fundamental analysis of top down right we've got fundamental analysis and risk sentiment and we confirm our um greetings fidelis uh welcome warm welcome i know you sent me a private message a uh, welcome to you so really our process is just to really understand um from a fundamental analysis and the sentiment um a perspective so we derive our own fundamental analysis right so what we want to do is we want to go to our fundamental analysis spreadsheet we look at you know the uh the um, cumulative rankings and we then we validate these rankings um via the fundamentals so i say by fundamentals but via the um by the, the the banks and institutions and if you haven't already as well um i've got a sunday video so if you go to um the trading videos channel in the chit chat section trading videos click on here and these are where the gold is the, the silver actually i say the silver but the, the really the platinum um, and the palladium, you know, in, in terms of value is is worth, right? So trading videos, and I pretty much put <clears throat> daily videos in here, just in case you don't necessarily see them. But I had uh, a June, so June the 3rd is my weekly uh, fundamental analysis video. And if you want to understand how to use the fundamental analysis spreadsheet, what we do pretty much every every weekend, this is the video that you should look for. Um, and I do it pretty much every uh, every Saturday, Sunday, and you can watch past 
videos as well. So if you just type in, for example, weekly, I don't know, uh, analysis, and it should come up with, <clears throat> should come up with, uh, it's not gonna work now, is it? Typical, let's do just weekly, see what happens here. All right, well, the search is supposed to work, here we go. Um, we do have a lot of the fundamental analysis videos. Unfortunately, it's not in, you know, in order. It doesn't do it in order, but these are all the fundamental analysis videos. You just pay, probably just search for the last uh, one that we did from a date perspective wise, but you'll go through, you can go through all of these videos. You've got tons of videos on how we um, look at and review the fundamental analysis and uh, go through and confirm and then we're just looking at you know uh, technical analysis daily weekly supply zone stop hunts cpr and risk and trade management and i know there was a debate a bit of a debate between uh mark and uh i think it was jar bread and um which which basically one is is more important than the other and um to be fair my my opinion is pretty much you know both work hand in hand do you know what i mean they do work hand in hand and this really is where we want to sit. We want to sit in really in the middle, right? Between fundamental analysis, because each has their pros and cons, right? We're using the best of both worlds, yeah? Um, so we establish value and then really technical analysis is for trade trade management. So we're sitting directly, exactly, there you go, Mark. Both are useless without the other. To an extent, yeah, of course, you can make money Trading, trading either one. Of course, you can look at fundamental analysis and make money. Um, not, or it's very difficult if you're if you're leverage trading. Of course, all right, doing fundamental analysis, and you can do the same thing with technical analysis, right? Pretty much, you know, I don't know, a, a, a high percentage of, of of traders who trade on social media are just purely technical analysis traders. Um, and but I prefer, and where I found my success in trading is really combining both, right? Um, so for me, uh, they're, they're, they're both equally as, uh, I would say, I don't know, I wouldn't even say equally weighted, but um, they're both as useful as each other um, in order for us to really get to our goal, which is, you know, consistently uh, profitable, right? Um, also as well, plan ahead. So what you'll quickly discover, and I'm going to wrap this up in, in, in a sec, but what you'll discover is that the, the, the way that we trade um you should have plenty of time in order to um to, to to look for trades or to set up your trades so what i mean by that is from a supply and demand zone perspective let's say if you're looking for demand zones right on a daily time frame chart if this was a demand zone from let's say for example two weeks ago right you, you should really have seen this trade. You shouldn't really be coming to the, to the chart to try and look for trades. Maybe at first, obviously, when you're when you're learning, but generally, you, you this should be this trade should be really kind of planned out well ahead of time. By the time prices come down to here, you know the only thing that you're really kind of checking on is making sure that the fundamental analysis and the risk sentiment is still you know the same do you want to be a buyer down here from that perspective but technically you know this happened two weeks ago we shouldn't be coming to the chart and then trying to look for trades straight away do you know what i mean or on the day and rush and rush trade this is not this is not and i know a lot of traders do come from a technical background where they're literally every day scouring the uh the charts for some trade this is not that we plan ahead yeah and we're patient in our setups also as well um alerts should be you, you know one of your uh, one of your best mates yeah what i mean by that is that get into the habit of setting alerts once you've seen a trade setup yeah uh, uh, take place regardless of the time frame set an alert just set an alert at that level yeah and then wait for price to come to you yeah the only thing really you should be doing if you're doing anything every, any day is just checking to see if there are any you know where price is and if there are any new setups but generally um you, you we should be you know well ahead of time and also as well we don't want to spend all of our time by the charts i know um as there is a learning curve of course and when you're 
you know, doing your learning curve and participating in the learning curve, there's a lot to learn, right? It's very overwhelming. You're, you're pretty much stood down here looking up and going, oh, my days, I've got a mountain to climb, right? But once you start climbing and once I start assisting you in the group and the traders in the group start assisting you, it starts to get easier. The climb becomes easier to the point where you spend, you try to spend less time looking for trades, in fact, and letting the trades come to you. And what should happen is you should have pretty much a bit more of a relaxed view uh, when it comes to trading. You shouldn't be looking at the chart as soon as you wake up in the morning, the last thing you go to bed before night, at night while you're at your job at your desk, such and such and such and of the trades. No, 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 no. Get to a point where, um, you know, you let the price come to you, set your alerts, and then life is for living, right? Life is for living in a sense that you want to spend time with family, friends, go out, etc. cetera. Um, because one of the things that I, I did when I was, and I think everyone here um, uh, has, has done, is we've literally suffered from, you know, burnout to the extent of sitting at a chart every day. And even though we're not necessarily physically doing something, you don't realize how tired and fatigued you come, you, you become. I remember just a short story, quick short story before I really get started into this. I remember when I first, I came with my first course, right? The first course I ever paid for. And I, I remember waking up at like 6.30 in the morning and sitting at the computer. And I did not leave the computer um, until probably about 9, 10 at night. And I did that for about three days. You know what I mean? And it was exciting. You know, you're looking for trade, looking for this. But it's madness. That is absolute madness to end up having to do that day in, day out is crazy. Even if you are a day trader, it should not be, um, trading shouldn't be that um, uh, uh, intensive, right? Let's just plan ahead, set our alerts and save time. Yeah, exactly. We Yes, that's exactly it. We all do, right? Because we all want to, you know, we think that, opportunity the more the more opportunities we have is the more money we'll make yeah exactly get some fresh air right exactly but this can continue on for for, for months and even years and you don't you have no one to tell you really otherwise you think that this is the way that it's sold right but then you kind of look on social media and see people trading by the beach or they're driving their lamborghinis and ferraris and you think yourself, hold on i'm sitting here you know, all hours of the flipping day, morning, waking up, you know, I mean, I can't sleep at three in the morning, getting up, looking at the charts. And and you've got people like, you know, on the other other side of the spectrum, like, you know, trading on the beach, which is great, nonsense, by the way, as well. <laughs> right. I mean, you can trade on the beach, but that's not how it's done. There is a level of work. But the point I'm just trying to make is, is that there is a learning curve. At first, it is steep. It can be overwhelming especially this in the way that we approach trading with fundamentals etc but once you get used to it like any skill it becomes a general you know uh it should be you should be strolling you know walking right and it's not such a climb in a mountain to climb anymore yeah i mean there's always going to be work there's always going to be um you know trade psychology etc but generally you know this is the, the path that you should be taking uh and also as well lastly is post charts in feedback channels. So what I mean by this is, this is not gonna be one of those rooms, and one of, I don't know if anyone's been in many trading rooms, but this is not a, a trade call service. This is not something where I'm telling you what to do. You have to put the work in. There's a saying that goes, catch a man a fish and he eats for a day, teach a man to fish and he eats for a lifetime. I'm trying to teach you how to fish, yeah? And the only way to teach someone how to fish or how to teach someone how to, how to do any skill is that they have to do the work. If I'm going to sit here and post stop hunt setups and uh, CPR setups and um, uh, 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 daily supply and demand zone setups for you to just go, OK, I'm buying, I'm selling. Yeah, you're not going to learn how to fish. You're not going to learn how to trade for yourself. You're going to be reliant upon me. You have to do the work. Prove to me, yeah, and prove to yourself that you know how to trade and how to catch fish for yourself, right? How to, how to trade the markets. And the only way, the best way you can do that is by you doing the work at the end of the day. You have to do the work. You have to post the charts. You have to do the fundamental analysis 
I even encourage everybody. Welcome, Jarbred. Um, I even encourage everybody. And Mark knows this, and anyone you know, Sam knows this as well. Is in fact make videos, right? Make videos. Get some software. Get a mic if you want to use a mic. Doesn't matter the quality. Get some screen recording software if it doesn't come with your uh, if it doesn't come with your with your laptop or your computer, etc. Um, and really make videos of your trades and document your trades and talk it out. Hear yourself talking about the trade in the process. It will do wonders for your trading. Believe me, it really does. So post in the feedback channels as much as you can. If you don't post, then I'm going to assume that you don't need any help and that you know everything, right? So definitely post and then I can give you direct feedback. This is what mentoring is about. I can give you direct feedback on where you're going wrong, where you're going right, and just ask questions and I make videos for you. Um, and Jarbred says, yes, um, he says he swears by making videos too. It helps a lot. It really does. It really does for your learning. So participate, take part in the conversations. Um, everyone's here to support each other. We're a friendly bunch. I might not be around all the time. I do take evenings and weekends off, but I will get back to you, you know, as soon as I can and make videos for you specifically, et cetera. And we can talk about them either in the videos or we can talk about them in our weekly Zoom calls. So everybody, um, that's pretty much, I know I've taken buddy, what, maybe about 15, 20 minutes doing this. So, um, so yeah, that's basically for everyone watching this and everyone in the group. So we've had a few questions. We've had a few questions. So the next slide, one second. Got a few things to go over um, from uh, 94, Mr. Lazy. Um, there's a few questions. And then we've got uh, Sapello, um, Marcos, and we've got Jarbread and RM. And by the way, if you do have any questions as well that you're thinking of as you're watching this, um, you know, please feel free to um to uh to put them in the chat box and i'll add them to the um uh, to this and also as well we've got a ton of charts to go over and if we've got a bit of time we can go over um uh some live charts as well so uh 94 mr lazy says i'm struggling to follow charts uh, as well because of the job and this is a problem that you know many people have uh, only thing i can use is daily does anyone have any tips on using daily chart for cpr anyone here day trading day um uh, the the daily or the 12 hour uh how to trade using uh the daily what well, this is basically a, a question that ties into that as well which is how to trade using the daily or 12 hour time frames if you're struggling to follow markets throughout the day so, 